In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look together at using timeline markers. Some users of PowerDirector have something called a clip marker, and we've already done a tutorial about that. You might want to consult that. So the question is, if I have both in my version of PowerDirector, what's the difference between the two? Well, as the name suggests, the clip marker will only mark an area in the clip. And you can mark an area to give you a note to do something. You might want to insert uh, a video at that point, or a picture-in-picture, -picture, or change the sound, or do something else. The markers basically help you stay on task as you plan and strategize through your project. Now, the advantage of a clip marker is if you move the clip, the clip marker will stay with it. But if you don't have clip markers in your version or you're just interested in timeline markers, uh, that's what we're going to look at right now. A timeline marker is something that marks a place in your timeline that you can use for several things. For example, I'm going to right click on my timeline right here and the first option is add timeline marker. It gives me, it tells me where I am and it gives me a note. Let's say the note is intro fades in here. Now I have a marker with a name to it. It's a little blue triangle. Now the nice thing about these markers is they create a snap to line. If I take this picture and I drag it, notice I have a black line that I can snap uh, a video to, I can snap music to, I can snap anything to uh, because of the marker. Now once I have a marker available, I'm going to move my scrubber so we can see what we're doing. I can take the marker and I can actually drag it and move it this way anywhere in my timeline. So if I have another marker, and again, it's not tied to the clip, it's tied to the entire project. I'll right click here, add another one. We'll say uh, raise sound. So I can elevate my sound at that point in time, or I can put one over here and I can say, as I'm working along, something comes to my mind, I'll right click and add a marker and say, uh, check on um, alternate uh, video here, camera three. So I, I can put all kinds of notes to remind myself what's going on. And yet I can stay on task with whatever it is I happen to be doing at the time. Uh, let's put one more here just for fun. We can say, uh, 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 consider particle here. So I can add a particle or I, I could add uh, something from my title room. So I have the markers and I can move them. What if I wind up with, during the course of building a project, uh, 10 markers, 50 markers, 100 markers? If I right click, I can click on Edit Timeline Markers, and that will give me a summary of all of the markers. And I can click on the box here to select all of them. This one deselects all of them. Now, if I select a marker, say here, I can go ahead and I can double click here and I can edit the time down to the second or frame if I want to. So I'll, I'll change that to 10, sec 10 seconds and 24 frames. Or I can click on it too here and I can uh, edit my text of what the marker is. Maybe I want to say uh, use camera 2 here. And so that allows me to edit it. I can also go in, uh, right click on the marker and remove only that marker. And now this one is gone. Or I can right click again and remove all of my markers. So that gives me an option of, of, of making these points. I don't have to take notes and put them on a notepad. I don't have to remember something external to the program. I can put all of this stuff right in the timeline. And each of the marker again is a snap to. It gives me the option to lock anything into it on another track or on the current track if I want to override something. It doesn't really matter. Um, 
and it also helps me stay on task. So there's lots of useful functionality in the timeline markers in CyberLink PowerDirector. Thank you.